I put in extra pork, just a little bit. The apples, my can of Pepsi. Mm, mm, mm. There's only two things guaranteed in this life. One is death, and the other is the fact that I'm going to make a video on every single piece of media that an Italian man named Jack Scalfani has ever made. And baby, today I'm feeling like the Grim Reaper. Now we've been with Jack for a while now, we've been through some highs, we've been through some lows. And today we're grabbing a shovel, boys and girls, because we're going down even further. It's quite rare that I see something with my own two eyeballs that makes me want to excrete my last last meal through my mouth. I thought that would be a less gross way to say throw up, but I'm pretty sure I just made it 10 times worse, so uh, apologies for that one. Today, however, is a bit of a different story because today we're looking at something called No Peak Stew. No, this is not a siege strategy. This is not something you're going to see Jinxie whip out. This is the worst soup slash stew slash roast that you'll ever see with your own two eyes, and I mean that. I'll guarantee it. If you're eating anything right now, especially something that could be classified as a soup type food class, I would really recommend sticking that bad boy in your inventory because uh, it's it's about to get bad. Appetites will be lost and I don't want to get blamed for it. All right, you've been warned. Let's begin. Please subscribe. So now that we're completely into fall, it's time for comfort food. Comfort food is, it's really interesting. Like I think macaroni and cheese is comfort food. It's kind of that food you want to just, it's cold outside, you got a blanket around, you just want something warm that you can eat that just makes you just warms your tummy. Dealing with this southern summer is really having me miss winter and fall right now. What is y'all's favorite comfort food? Mine personally, I don't really know. Just anything over a bed of rice is going to do it for me. You can put just about anything over rice and I'm probably going to eat it. Okay, so here's my pork tenderloin. I got a huge one. Uh, I like extra meat in my stew. So I think the recipe asked for two pounds and this is way more than two pounds. So, uh... So, whatever. <laughs> All right, we have apples. That's the part of the pork version. I'm throwing apples in also. If you're doing beef version, you ain't gonna do the apples. This might just be a me thing. Just my personal opinion, I'm open to that. But if I ever find an apple in a stew I'm served, there's gonna be a negative outcome. Personally, I'm a guy who likes fruit to be fruit. I don't really like when people start adding things of the fruit nature into other dishes. I don't think fruit belongs in a salad. I don't think fruit belongs in a pork stew. I was at a restaurant the other day and I asked their special, it was a peach salad, and I wanted to ask them why. Why would you why would you make such a thing? But I couldn't do that because it's socially unacceptable I mean, is this just a me thing? Does anybody want a mouth full of lettuce and then peach? That's that seems against nature. Also, why is there a can of Pepsi? I'm just now seeing that what is <laughs> What is going on? I have onions. I have tomatoes. I have uh, the baked potatoes. I've got the carrots I've got the celery. I have some sugar. I have a can of Pepsi I have cornstarch, below that I have beef base, I have Worcestershire, I have celery, cream of celery soup, V8, Lipton onion soup mix. Am I being pranked or something? Is this a real recipe? Is this like another rendition of garbage stew and Jack's just trying to play it off? This is really giving me the feeling here that Jack is just trying to get rid of stuff that's about to expire. Who looks at a soup and is like, yeah, you know what this needs? A cup of sugar and a Pepsi. I mean, what? Time to just throw everything in here. So we're gonna line the bottom. I put in extra pork, just a little bit. We'll do the carrots. Oh my God, you scared me. Why did you pause the video like that? I mean, I guess while we're here, I might as well tell you to go subscribe to my gaming channel because that would be, be a really cool thing of you to do because you get to hear me be a little baby like this. I think I just heard something. Oh, oh my God, Jesus Christ. Oh my God, what the is that? Oh my God. So uh, yeah, you should, uh, you should go do that. Have you done it yet? Okay, cool, sweet, thank you. You can, you can unpause the video now. Okay, don't make this awkward. The celery. The potatoes. The onions. The tomatoes. This is another ingredient that makes me feel like this is a garbage stew kind of situation. Does anybody else feel like tomatoes don't really belong in this concoction? I mean, pork, potatoes, celery, carrots, onions, sure, that's fine. That's a stew. But when I think of stew, I don't think diced tomatoes. Is this just me? The apples. Wow. That's pretty cool. I think I picked the, I picked the right size pan. Cornstarch. Sugar. The one packet of Lipton onion soup mix. The salt. 
the pepper. The extra pepper. And a little bit more pepper. Jack, you put more pepper into this one single dish than you've put in every single other dish you've ever made on your channel combined. What got into you? And this is the dish that probably needs it the least. There's so many prepackaged products going into this dish that you probably won't even be able to taste all of this pepper. I don't think I'll ever truly understand your ways, Jack. <laughs> it's gonna take a little bit of that. Put it in the the warm water get that diluted there we go then you're gonna pour it in here I'm gonna mix it in okay I'm gonna put my cream of celery in put that there get that in there my can of Pepsi so this I'm really having trouble wrapping my head around like I've heard of Pepsi or Coke or like root beer ribs before but I've truly never heard of anybody just dumping a can of soda into a stew like there's so much liquid here there's so many ingredients in this stew that this Pepsi is going to have no effect whatsoever other than adding just more sugar than there already is I really can't understand the thought process here what makes this even more confusing is that I tried to like reverse search the recipe that Jack used in this video because he rarely makes his own recipes he usually just kind of reconstructs ones he finds and I found the one that I think he based this off of and it did not have a Pepsi in the original recipe so I don't know what made Jack think you know what this uh this needs a good old-fashioned Pepsi Cola that's gonna bring it all together my Worcestershire let's get this all mixed together Bring your, your pan over, and I'm just going to basically pour this over the... Then it says to add V8 or tomato juice to bring the level up. So let's, here we go. So I double checked, and in the description of this video, it calls for a half a cup of tomato juice. And Jack decides to add 64 ounces of V8 to this puppy. Why even have a recipe? in the first place. Yeah, let's add a single can of Pepsi to cut out the half gallon of V8 we just dumped in this. This is tomato and apple stew. That's what we're making. Let's open it up on your side so you guys can see it first. All right, here we go. We're gonna peak now. No peaking for like, it's been like over eight hours. Oop, gotta be careful. Whew, sealed it real good. Come on. Get the steam out. Oh, wow. Wow. That looks really good. This is one of those things where this is not even necessarily a commentary on Jack. I mean, it kind of is. But this is mainly a complaint about the dish itself. Am I alone in thinking that this would be absolutely disgusting? I love a good roast. I love a good stew. But this, this is not that. Not for me, at least. I don't want tomatoes, apples, V8, Pepsi, all this stuff in a roast. Give me beef carrots, onions, potatoes, and put in some beef broth. You don't need 48 ingredients to make a stew when half of them don't even work together. I really don't get this. Is anybody else with me on this? There it is. Beautiful. Okay, so the only thing that this stew needs right now is some garlic bread. Mmm. So hot. Mmm. Mmm. So good. You know that, and I, now I know what the cornstarch was for. It made the, it brought all the, the kind of gravy or sauce or whatever together. It did a great job. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm about ready to start chowing down <laughs> right in front of you. Amazing flavor. I'm going to try this again with beef. I'm going to go more beef base. Give it that real big kick. This came out awesome. Um, 
So we'll give it a try. Yeah, Jack, uh, I don't think that's going to be happening. I'm just now noticing the absolute ungodly amount of food he's just made. Once again, I went back and checked the recipe, and he, like, tripled everything for some reason. Jack lives with one other person, and he looks like he's about to go feed a small village. Jack, you didn't even know if you liked this yet. Why would you make this much? These are questions I need answers to. Well, guys, what are your thoughts? Am I just out of the loop when it comes to the stew meta? Have we just started adding apples and tomato slices to every stew? Is that just what we do now? If that's the case, I mean, I guess I missed the memo. That's a, yeah, uh, a memo I'm okay with missing, though. I can say that with confidence. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. Subscribe.